All right, circus baby. It's been a few days since you talked to William Afton. I think it's time. You are going to get answers today, and you're not going to take no for an answer. Nope. Ugh. All right, let's go talk to Freddy. Make sure he's doing okay. Last time I left him, he was organizing the napkins. Oh, Bruh. Freddy? Huh? What? Why are there X's all over our walls and windows? Well, I kind of figured I need to secure the house a little bit more to keep everyone safe since everyone's been able to break in. I figured if someone's going to be spying outside, I need to see how far from the outside windows can they see into the house. From here, they can see up to there and to there. Right. We have a lot of windows, by the way. Uh, okay, uh, this is... This is good. Is this because I refuse to move out? I'm just trying to keep you safe, okay? Look, I appreciate it. Um, but you're doing your best. So, I actually wanted your thoughts on something. Oh, what is it? I think I'm going to go do what you suggested and talk to Golden Freddy. Wait, you're gonna go talk to my dad? Yeah, I've thought about it, and ever since Afton was here, I have a lot more questions, like the fact that I was never supposed to be a functioning me. Well, I was supposed to be functioning. I was just supposed to be a shell of an animatronic and not necessarily alive. And I want to know why and how I became to be what I am. I, I guess my origin, essentially. Well, that does make sense if we're being honest. And if anyone's going to have the answers, it's going to be your dad, especially because it's probably his magic that brought me alive in the first place. So did he do it on purpose? Is this just all a coincidence? Has he known this the whole time and just like you hid it from me this entire time? I didn't hide anything. No, your dad. Oh, right. He likes keeping secrets. Exactly. We both know that. So I just have a lot of questions. Um. All right. Let me go lock up the house and wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, god dang it. What? Monty's secret tunnel into the house. Oh. I mean, people don't know about that, though, do they? There's enough people that know. Okay, look, I don't need you to come with me. Uh, you sure? Yeah, there's no way Afton is going to know about Golden Freddy's location. And plus, last time he was here, he said I was fine for now. All right. I'll go start sealing up his tunnel, though. Yeah, probably a good <sighs> idea. I don't even what? think Monty lives here anymore, I'm going to be honest. He does. He's been off with Foxy, though, hasn't he? He's been off with Foxy, but he still comes in here and eats our food. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. All right, I have a long drive, so I'm going to head out, but uh, I'll let you know when I'm on my way back. I'll see you later, Freddy. See ya. Okay, here we are. It really never gets easier coming to this creepy place. I'm really glad I didn't move in here when I asked Golden Freddy if I could, because can you imagine me in this place? I don't think so. Hopefully he doesn't mind that yet again I am stumbling upon his house for help. Uh, Golden Freddy? Hey, buddy! It's your favorite, uh, animatronic that's not related to your family! Sorry, I came kind of by unannounced. Oh my gosh! What are you doing? Trying to figure out how to scare you since you kind of got used to me. Yeah, I guess the past couple of times I did get used to you. I wasn't expecting the hand, so... Hey, uh, <clears throat> how have you been? It's been so long! <laughs> what do you need? Okay, um, yes, I did come here because I need something, which I I'm sorry. I know the only times I ever visit is because I need something. I That's when only when anyone visits. You know, I even have I've gotten a call from Glamrock Freddy or my other son in a long time. What? I did hold my word. Um, Last time you helped me with something, I did have Glamrock Freddy come here, and you guys kind of resolve things between the two of you, so... It's still like 50-50 on that. But at least you guys talked, and that's progress. That's a really cool skylight thingy. You should probably clean the leaves off of it, though. And I got a new pet! You see that little bat up there? Oh! Uh, did you actually, like, purposefully get a bat, or did he just claim that as his home and now he lives here? 50-50. Okay, well, you were right when... You first asked, what do I need? Because I, I kind of did come here to talk to you about things. It's almost like you're my therapist at this point. It's getting kind of bad. You need actual therapy. I know I need actual therapy, but between, you know, running the channel and eating ice cream all day and taking care of Ennard, I just don't have time. Especially not with this current issue. <sighs> All right, what is it this time? Um, it more so involves me and, uh, 
my dad? Oh, him. Yeah, I came here to talk to you about William Afton, also known as Purple Guy, also known as a child murderer, also known as a narcissist, Bruh. and many other things. So... Oh, that yeah. man. So, the thing about him is, I can't spy on him. Wait, out of all people, he you can't spy on him? I didn't make any sort of agreements with him. You see, I, um... Oh my goodness, what? He emanates a dark aura. Yeah, you don't say. When he showed up at my house two times uninvited, that's all I could feel from him was just... Ooh. Yeah, no, that aura is a lot stronger than you think. Think of it like I'm looking at you directly right now, and I can see a sort of reddish pinkish aura around you. <gasps> I have an aura? What does that mean? It means like the color of your soul. Ooh. I even see a tinge of purple here and there. Does that mean I'm a good animatronic? Essentially. Yay! Wait, 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 wait. What do you see come off of him? Pitch black ink. Yeah, I... I... I guess that tracks. But it's so intense, so bad, that it like makes an impromptu smoke screen around him. Really? Even with your power, you can't? I can't see past it, no. His soul is so dark that it protects him from my sight. And it doesn't help that whatever happened recently in the last couple weeks, that I can't see everything as I used to. Wait, 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 wait. That sounds important because you're supposed to be the all-knowing uh, God, essentially, and you're saying what? Something happened in the past weeks that changed the world in a way that basically made it so that I cannot see the flow of the world. Sort of like something changed history. History? Yes, and whenever that something like that happens, my powers have to readjust to whatever change happened. And during that time, they're only working at like, I want to say 30 to 40 percent. Okay, this is a lot to process. You don't think whatever happened had something to do with William Afton showing up out of nowhere, right? It's very possible. Okay, the more I learn about this guy, the more I feel like I just need to go take a nap. Um, all right. So, really dark evil guy, you can't spy on him. That's all fine and dandy, but I, I don't know. I'm going to explain something to you that I've been kind of scared to tell Glamrock Freddy, but I think Glamrock Freddy already knows just because kind of the way I'm acting. Okay, you're telling me that this man is like beyond evil essentially his soul is just absolutely damned because he's just like covered in darkness right if he were to die his soul is so tainted not even the underworld would want it <sighs> so here's my issue he's technically my dad right yep uh, so one thing that i wanted to ask you is how dangerous exactly would it be to get to know him? Oh, I hate that I even have to say it like that. It's not that I want to get to know William Afton, okay? I mean, he's a sadistic narcissist, but I I also do. I mean... It's your father. Exactly. See, you understand. We even have the same, like, I don't know, just everything about me sort of makes sense now. He has a love for tech and building animatronics, and in the past couple of years, so have I. I mean, I built Ennard, and that makes sense why I'd have those abilities and things, because maybe, despite me being a literal robot, maybe some traits from him did get passed down to me. You see? Okay, so how my magic works with turning you real when you were becoming an animatronic? Which is also something I wanted to ask about because as we all know, I wasn't born, but your magic is what affected me? How long have you known that for? Since I made the wish and made it happen. I guess that's reasonable. You see, there's a level of magic that's kind of forbidden to do. That if anything were to change history or to change the world as a whole, it disrupts my flow of magic? I did that once before. Okay, and what happened then? I did a forbidden spell and made the wish that animatronics can become organic. So I became organic. I was able to have my son and Glamrock Freddy was born and others were born, but it also turned pre-existing and currently newly created animatronics into bioorganic if they so choose. Wait a second. So basically any 
existing animatronic had a choice whether or not to become bioorganic? It's how they saw themselves. It's how they believed themselves. When you awoke, you were just given a role, told to be circus baby. And as you grew into that role, you began growing your soul, your consciousness, and thus becoming you. Right. Even animatronics that weren't completely built or finished also have a choice, like um, proto types, for example. It's very possible. Oh, you're worried. Well, I've just been told a lot recently about a prototype circus baby who is basically what killed Elizabeth Afton. And we've been wondering where it is. And now I think we need to be wondering whether or not it's alive as well. But circling back, what should I do? Suddenly, William Afton has come into my life and I'm between the knowledge that he is basically a murderer and also he's my dad. What would you do? If we're being honest, find out the truth about him, about you, what you could potentially have in family. But also be careful because you don't want to lose what you currently have. Trust me, I know that better than anyone. I already crossed that bridge when I built entered and I almost lost everybody just to make sure I kept him alive. Okay, I think I have a lot to think about. Um, is there anything else you know of William? I mean, there's also Michael. He's alive. I guess that's what I was gonna ask. So Michael Afton is alive. He's the only living relative left, yes. So Nora is also gone? I don't know. It is really weird hearing you utter those words. Um, I don't know who she is. Fair enough. But Michael is absolutely alive. Is he with William? No. Why not? From what I did learn about him, he hated what his father had become, including what he had done to his younger siblings. True, but technically Michael is the one who, you know, Evan. We don't exactly know. Remember, that only happened in the retelling of the game. I guess so. From what we know, a lot of the lore is kind of backwards for us, so. Some of it is based on actual true events. Some of it's fictitious. Some of it is just completely different. Yeah. Like, I don't have two souls in me. I only have one. True. I also didn't kill Lizzie, nor is she in me. All right, I think I'm leaving with more questions than I came here with, but that's probably a good thing. You'll find them in your city. What? Michael Afton lives close by. Really? Okay, well, that's definitely something I need to look into then. It was nice seeing you, Colton Freddy. I think I have to go, but I'll try and come back at some point without needing something. <laughs> oh, one last thing. Yeah? about your citizenship. Right. I made a legal agreement with the government. I don't interfere with them. They don't interfere with me. I could poof you up an ID, but that would be breaking my agreement with them. I can only make one if you have a guardian or parent approval. Really? I get it, I get it. It's just, wow, that is frustrating. Maybe you need a dark aura around you as well. Hey, I'm not evil. Yet. On that note, I'll see myself out. Was nice seeing you, Golden Freddy. I'll be back at some point.